morning, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, February 1st. A Philadelphia police sergeant is shaken up, but otherwise okay after a suspect rammed his patrol car and then took off. Happened last night at 57th and Arch Streets. Police say the suspect was driving a stolen car. No arrests have been made. And a man accused of two carjackings is in police custody. The alleged crime spree began last week at a Cherry Hill car dealership when police say the suspect stole a Kia during a test drive. The suspect is also accused of a carjacking a Lexus last night during a police pursuit in Kensington. Both victims involved in the carjackings were not hurt. Brandywine Hospital in Coatesville, Chester County, has closed its doors for good. This is after the owner, Tower Health, says a deal to sell the hospital fell through. People will now have to go to either Chester County Hospital or Mainline Health in Paoli. Now let's get a check on the eyewitness weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Larissa Brayu. Hey there, Jim. It is a cold start to our Tuesday morning. And unfortunately, if you're heading out the door in the next several hours, make sure you watch for icy conditions on those roads. Now here's the good news. We are actually tracking a warming trend starting with today. Temperatures won't be as cold as they were yesterday, climbing into the upper 30s with a nice mix of sun and clouds out there. Now we welcome February the 1st and usually on average February is the snowiest month in Philadelphia. On average we pick up about 8.4 inches of snow and so far this season we already have a little over 12 inches on the ground. Now, snow is not in the forecast this week, as we will see a lift in that jet stream that will allow for the milder air to move in here. Really starting today, continuing through the week, Thursday is the warmest day, but notice Thursday also comes with showers, and that threat continues into Friday. Arctic air arrives once again by Friday night. Thank you, Larissa. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Jim Donovan. Make it a great day.